Folks, I'm on a quest. It's not a spiritual quest. It's not a quest 64. It's not a game quest. I'm on a quest to find something that I feel like maybe it doesn't exist. Maybe I'm silly for thinking this, but I want to find a retro video game console that is plug and play that works good. That is good. That is reasonably priced. That I could say to my user base, hey, this is something you should check out. Now, you might remember about a week or so ago, maybe a little longer, we took a look at a Kin Hank plug and play console that I thought at the end was decent. It wasn't good because of the fact that it did have some problems. There were lots of little nitpicks that I didn't like, and those nitpicks ended up building up into something else. But as I was scrolling through Amazon, I found something the Game Box X9 console. And I thought, hey, Let's give this a try. It's like 80 bucks, 70 bucks. I don't remember. I'll have a listing to it up on the screen right now, but it was very reasonably priced and it seemed like something that would be pretty cool. It seemed like, seemed like. Alrighty, so here's the Game Box X9. Tell me that doesn't look like a three sometimes though. Like every time I look at it, I'm like, is it a nine? Is it a three? But it's clearly a nine. We got our radical dude here. He's got some cool glasses, a big smirk, some cool hair, 3D games, 4K Ultra. Here's where things get really crazy, though. It has an original 3D rocker, special game rocker for arcade, high sensitivity, anti-skid design, Daisy on. It's not a G. So, yeah, um, not exactly a... A pure bastion of, of quality as far as some of the translation is concerned but hey you know um, we get one color box one USB cable a receiver a machine a wireless handle I think that means controller certificate instructions USB 3.0 card HDMI cable so a lot of stuff in this box here that has a professional game chip a Double her rocker control, dual analog control, 3D game, and you can search games. Looking at the back of the system, okay. And then we have the caveats here. You know, you can choke on this, but here's what I find interesting. This device has no built-in game program. Users need to install by themselves, such as installing games. The copyright issue caused by the program has nothing to do with our company. So did I buy something that has no ROMs built into it? Did I spend... $70, $80 on something that has like no ROMs in it. Like, I don't, I don't think I would have done that because like, how would you know what to put on here? Like kind of defeats the purpose. All right. We have some great instructions. We of course have the crap ass PlayStation two dual stick controller. Okay. If we need it, we'll look into that. Here is our game box itself. Yibo. Hmm, doesn't feel terrible. Let's see here. Got our USB connections. We have HDMI, AC, DC. Okay, what is this? I guess that's our power button. And a LAN ad uh, network cable adapter. Simple enough. You know, I don't need a whole bunch of stuff here. Nice fan inside of it. Most of this box is going to be... Dude, I have so many of these damn controllers now. And, like, I don't hate them. Like, they're functional but like i would just rather use an xbox 360 controller and skip the wireless part i now have like six of these damn things and i don't want any of them here's our power brick our hdmi cable our usb stick maybe this is what has the games on it already done and that's how they get around it so i don't know i guess we will go ahead and plug this in to our USB slot, and now maybe we have games on it. So yeah, basic stuff here as far as the unboxing is concerned, but nobody cares about this part. We want to see the actual game, so let's see what this has or doesn't have on it. All right, so when you plug it into a power source, it starts to, there's a fan here. It doesn't even push out any air, but you can hear things going, and this light changes colors, kind of an RGB spectrum of colors and then it turns off and then it boots up again. It just does this over and over and over and over. I haven't gotten any further. I've unplugged things. I've replugged things in. RGT, you don't have an HDMI cable in. Shut up. That doesn't matter. I've tried it a million times with the HDMI cable in. I've tried different plugs. I've tried different outlets. I've tried different devices. I've tried switching these slots around. You know, doesn't matter. 
nothing I do makes this work. The only thing that comes up on the screen is some kanji. It's in Japanese. I'm not sure what they're saying, but it says that this is an open source system in English on like the bottom. And that's it. And there's, you know, there's no help here. You know, the help is like, oh, there's no image. Make sure everything is okay. Make sure the TV is working. The picture is achromatic. Make sure your wiring is good. No sound. Like, this is broken. This is not functioning. And I would hope that, like, hitting it doesn't make it work. It obviously doesn't. But, man, these are the problems with these systems. These are the problems in general. It, you know... At least the last one we took a look at, at least the damn thing turned on and it still turns on. It still works fine. You know, nothing doing wrong with it. But this thing, I wasted 70 or $80. Then obviously I'm not going to get that money back. They'll probably try to credit me or something like that. But just a waste. And like for me, it, it's not a huge deal. You know, I'm obviously annoyed by this. I'm obviously upset by this because I wanted to see what this was. I wanted to see what this brought to the table. But for someone like me, you know, this is my business. You know, this is what I do. I, I take a look at weird stuff from, from China and, you know, emulation devices and stuff like that. Imagine like you're a parent and like you buy this for your kid or something like that. And then you take it out and it's just like a, an absolute, you know, piece of crap. Like I almost want to open it up and like see what's inside of it but i mean i wouldn't really know anything i'm not i'm not john from spawn wave like this this fake ir button here it's an ir receiver like i don't know man i don't what's so damn what's so damn hard about this like i'm almost at the point where if i could like if emulation wasn't a big deal and companies didn't care about it i would make my own rgt systems like this i would make my own thing i'd have my own chip set in here and i'd have them reasonably priced for like 150 dollars or less because i feel like that's the sweet spot with some of these devices you give me something that's 150 dollars or less that works that has a decent rom library of games you only have to do it one time because you're curating all these different games, you curate them one time. You just make a file on your computer and you drag and drop it. Like, I would so do it. I would so do it. But then, you know, Nintendo and stuff would come after me. They don't like me anyways. But, yeah, so the Yibbo um, game box, we don't even know if it's the real game box. I tend to think it's not the real game box because who is Yibbo and why would the game box have, you know, where's where's the TF card slot? It says there's one here. There's not one here. You're lying to me, boy. You're lying to me. I'm sorry that this didn't have more meat to it, though. You know, I, I really wanted to see what this was about. I've had this. I got this in like a week ago, and it's been sitting on my kitchen counter. And, uh, yeah. So, a bit of a disappointment. Well, obviously, a big disappointment. Thank you for this piece of crap that doesn't work. Let me know in the comments section down below. Have you had a run-in with the game box? Do you know anything about the game box? Did I get scammed? And is this a fake game box? Is this like the the game cast from uh, Malibu's Most Wanted? Let me know in the comments down below. And thank you guys for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We usually have consoles that work and hard drives and mini PCs that work. It's just we struck out today. We struck out today, honestly. And you know what happens. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later. <laughs>